Right, what's up guys, JJ Richards here, and we are currently in New York City. So we've been traveling for about 10, 11 hours, however, we've just got to the hotel. So tonight we're gonna to be staying in Garden City, and then we're gonna go over to Manhattan, where we're gonna be spending the remaining of our trip. So we're here for about six nights in total, but the reason why we've came here is because I wanna tick off one of the items on my bucket list, which is to train at the East Coast Mecca Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. So even though we're very, very tired for being up super early this morning, didn't really sleep on the flight, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna smash out a leg workout. So I've always wanted to train in this gym. There's probably three gyms that I've always wanted to train at. That is Venice Beach, done that. Powerhouse Gym, about to do that. Next on the list is gonna be Oxygen Gym. So we're gonna head over to the gym now, we're gonna smash in some pre-workout, we're gonna try and have a very, very good leg workout. So I'll see you in the gym. Good morning guys, day two and it is nice and early over in New York, so it's probably about 6 a.m. Yesterday after that workout, I was so, so tired, managed to get a quick bite to eat and we were straight in bed because we were probably on the go for about 21 hours yesterday. However, Powerhouse Gym was absolutely insane. Even though I was so tired, just the amount of motivation you get from training in a gym like that was just unbelievable. They've got so much equipment, it's ridiculous. They've got everything from the old Nautilus bits of equipment that's got the old bike chain attachment on it, right up to the new Arsenal strength equipment. There's probably like four or five different bits of equipment for leg extensions, hamstrings, chest, whatever you think of, there's such a variety of equipment to choose from. It's definitely the best gym that I've ever trained at. I liked it so much, in fact, that that's where we're about to head now. So I'm gonna get some breakfast first, because I'm hungry, then we're gonna head over to Powerhouse, we're gonna do like a push session today, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel, and then we're gonna make our way over to the main city. Hope you're enjoying the video so far, guys. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and drop any comments down below but let's go over and get some breakfast have a nice day right so we've just arrived now into manhattan so it's about an hour uber drive from where we were staying before and this is where we're going to be staying for the next four nights so let me give you a bit of a room tour because this hotel is probably one of the coolest hotels i've ever stayed at in my whole entire life so, as you can see, it is very, very small. Small little wardrobe there to put some clothes in here. Let's have a look. Toilet, shower, not too bad. Got a little sink space here with some towels, little fridge, hair dryer, mirror. And then this here is the bed. But best of all, take a look at that view so we're actually staying on the 17th floor 
and that view from the bed is just absolutely insane. Also, another cool little thing. It was my birthday beginning of the month, the big free one. So we put that on the booking and for it, they've given us a couple of little free vouchers for a cheeky cocktail on the rooftop bar. And also, this literally controls everything in the room. So it controls the lights, temperature, the blinds, even the TV. So cool. So yeah, this hotel. So yeah, this hotel is called Citizen M in Manhattan. Definitely recommend it. Quite pricey, but super, super cool. pizza joint it has literally got the biggest queue ever there's Lucy queuing up patiently so we've decided we're gonna go in there and see if this pizza is as good as I think it's gonna be right I'm not going to lie we've woken up this morning feeling ever so slightly hungover but I've also just realized one thing from last night. We went to the most bizarre bar that I think I've ever been to in my whole entire life. It involved a lady stapling underwear to her body. There was a transsexual there at one point, it was crazy. However, we bought two cocktails and it cost me $70 for two cocktails. I literally feel like I got robbed However, I'd preferred for somebody to hold a gun to my head that at least I'd have felt a little bit more manly. But anyway, when in New York, as they say. Breakfast time because I'm hungry, but I'm so, so sick of eating kind of stodgy food. So I thought I'd go healthy this morning and have one of these acai bowls. So this is usually a tradition whenever we come to America. So we're going to see what the acai bowls are like in New York. So this one has got, if you can see, so it's got a little bit of kiwi, some coconut, strawberry. I don't even know what those, what are those weird ball things on the top? Some weird ball things as well. So we're gonna eat this and then plan is to chill. Yesterday was crazy busy. We did all the touristy stuff. We went to Ground Zero. We probably went on about a thousand trains, about 10,000 bloody bus journeys. But today is going to be a bit more chill, but hopefully tonight the intention is we're going to go to a basketball game, but I'll update you on that a bit later. A very quick product review whilst I'm here. So because food is so bloody expensive in New York, I stocked up and bought myself some of the Sinister Lab Synfit bars. 30 grams of protein in there, pretty good for a in-between meal snack. However, I bought three different flavors. Cinnamon Crunch, Double Chocolate, and the Peanut Butter. So, Verdict, the peanut butter is absolutely unbelievable. It is great. One of the best protein bars I've tasted. However, these two taste like absolute garbage. So I don't know how you can get one thing so right, but then these so goddamn wrong. So if you're gonna buy these protein bars, please do, but stick to the peanut butter 
crunch flavour because that one is magnificent. Right, I'm just in the hotel gym. As you can see behind me, not a lot of kit in here. But I'm just going to do a quick arm session before I head out tonight. So I'm going to actually be doing some German volume training. So I'm just going to do 10 sets of 10 on seated bicep curl and skull crushers. And I'm just going to finish off just on a few touch up exercises just to get a little bit of blood into the arms before we head out tonight. So we're now back home from our six day holiday in New York and what an absolutely fantastic time we had. I absolutely love my kids to death and I'm so pleased to get home and see them. But six days of just peace and quiet of quality me and Lucy time was just absolutely priceless. So I'm really glad that I actually got to visit New York because it's a place I've always wanted to visit. However, I don't think I'd necessarily rush back to go and Why visit again. Pardon? The rest is day. Okay. So, like I said, I don't think I would rush back to go again. It's very, very expensive out there. You know, I've been to LA, Vegas, Miami, and I definitely think that New York was a lot more expensive than those places. And it's also quite a dirty place as well. You don't realise until you're walking around, but the amount of litter and just dirt that you're trying to avoid when you're walking down the streets is crazy. And it is so, so congested. I don't know how anybody actually lives there. I wouldn't have the patience. But I'm definitely glad we visited. There was lots of different things that we wanted to do that we managed to do. I really wanted to go to Ground Zero, so I'm glad we did that. Really wanted to see a basketball game and that is probably the best sporting event that I've ever actually seen in my life. It was just unbelievable. So back home now, back to reality. Hope you enjoyed this bit of um, travel vlog that I've done. I am going back on prep come the 2nd of January. So I've got a show that I'm planning on doing. So I'm trying to have as much fun and enjoy life as possible up until the beginning of January consent it's time to get serious so like I say give the video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time peace 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 what peaceful <laughs>